Okay, the third thing is that happy people don't wait for someday. Happy people don't wait for someday. Now, this might be hard for you. There's a, a movie we played, I think, this, year, this semester called uh, Poets, Dead Poets Society. And I don't, I don't agree with everything in the movie, but one of the things it says is, Carpe diem, seize the day. I think that's a great quote. Go seize the day. And so happy people don't wait for Sunday. They go seize the day. They don't say, when blank happens, I will have a life. That now you are not seizing the day. When blank happens, I will have a life. And here's a lazy cat. Watch this. He's being lazy, right? Okay? When I get my degree, I'll have a life. How many of you are saying that? When I get my degree, then I'll have a life, right? Or when I finish the Gao Gao. Well, you already did that, right? <laughs> when I get my degree, when I get my own place, then I'll really have a life. Right? It's always something out there. It's not never today, right? That's the problem. When I get through this project, then I'll really be happy. Or when I get, you know, out of this class with this one teacher, when I get finished with my training, then I'll have, I'll enjoy life. When I get married, well, the problem is people do not, do not magically become happy when the whatever happens. So whatever happens, you get your degree. Are you magically happy now? Well, maybe just for that moment. Okay, but not lasting. This is a type of win mistake. It is a way of thinking that says happiness is always later in the timeline. <clears throat> and that happiness will come when a particular something is done or achieved. It is usually coupled with the inability to enjoy, get this word, the now. The now. Thinking that the only happy time is in the future. Living in the now. One thing I want you to come away from tonight. Living in the now. I remember one person and I was at a, uh, I was meeting with a, a group of people one time and a guy said, I read this book, Living in the Now. And he was so excited. I said, what is this about? He said, well, what? I said, and we've done it all along. We keep thinking it's in the future, it's in the future. But the, the book has changed my life. He said, it's about living life today, right now. Mid-career change and I had a lot of stress. 
stresses in my life and changes going on in my life. I think it was around 40, something like that. And I, had, I experienced something I had never experienced before. It was called a panic attack. A panic attack. Have you ever had a panic attack? It's, a, it's like, it's a horrible feeling. I don't ever wish anybody had have it. But it's like a feeling that your body is out of control, you're breathing, you can't breathe right anymore, and you think you're going to die. You're hyperventilating. Remember that honey? Debbie was there when I experienced it. She got like, out oh, my house. Okay? That told me something, though. I said, you know, that was a signal for me. I need to change something. And I realized I was having all this stress. And what it was is I couldn't handle thinking about all this future stuff. Right? And at that point, I realized what I had been doing wrong in my own faith. And that was, I was trying to, trying to, I was trying to handle too much on my own, take control of too much on my own, the future especially. And I made a decision, you know what, I can't handle it. And I said, God, you, you take that, you take the future. I'm only going to worry about today. Because I knew my body couldn't handle it anymore, I just, I get a heart attack. And I just, from then on, every day, I didn't, I just wanted to think about today. What do I need to do today? And that was enough. And you know what? That helped my stress out so much. Just thinking about the now. Not the future. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, do we? You can plan, but do you really know what's going to happen tomorrow? So what? What good is it to worry about it? No, it doesn't mean you don't study for your exam, okay? <laughs> you still study. If you don't study, I can tell you what will happen. You will fail. <laughs> but it means you don't worry so much. You just do your best. Happy people are happy now. Because they are practicing all the ingredients of happiness in the present, they, are never, they, are, they never are dependent on someday to be happy. You can never experience tomorrow, only today. Today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. <laughs> today is the tomorrow you worried about yesterday. Okay? This very moment, is all there is or all there ever will be. This very moment. What we're experiencing now in the moment is all there is or all there ever will be. What does that mean? It means we can't experience tomorrow. We can't experience yesterday. Right? We're in this thing called time-space continuum where we experience things in time. <clears throat> okay. Living, how to live in the now. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to play a little video clip for you. And this is from a movie called 